Good evening. It's uh, Wednesday, April 19th, 2017, and I've had an excellent day at UBC. We started off with uh, an opportunity to climb the Ladner Clock Tower, that iconic uh, tall clock tower uh, next to IKB and across from the Kerner Library. And I actually was able to walk up all the stairs, and there were 168 stairs, steps that you'd need to climb to get to the top of the Ladner uh, Clock Tower. And I'll show you some videos of the interior of that clock tower. And then uh, I had a chance uh, to meet with uh, a candidate in the Provost Search Committee. Um, it's going uh, very, very well. I'm really, really thrilled with the quality of the finalists. Uh, and uh, after that, I had a chance to meet with the Dean's Advisory Committee for the Faculty of Applied Science. I want to thank them for uh, all of their contributions to UBC and to that faculty. And after that, I had a chance to uh, interact with two committees of the Faculty Senate, the Teaching and Learning Committee, we had a great ideation session about how to enhance teaching and learning at the university. And then uh, with the budget committee. Uh, and uh, I was invited to attend both of those committees regularly. And I'm really thinking about uh, uh, making uh, more regular appearances in front of those two committees of the Faculty Senate. And then I presided over Faculty Senate itself. Uh, so uh, it's been a great day. And uh, if you like this, uh, press like. And if you want regular updates to what's happening at UBC and in my life, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're going to actually go to, I think it's called the, the Ladner Clock, Clock Tower. Yeah. And it's just, are we walking all the way to the top? Uh, absolutely. After how many steps? Are there like a thousand steps? 500 steps? I, I counted. We can count today. I uh, can't remember, but I think it was 197. 197, really? So this is going to be the workout. And we can actually pop our head out of the top, right? And walk on the roof. Uh, we can possibly pop our head up the top. There's it, windows up there. Clock Tower, take Professor Ono up there. Uh, the clock tower was originally proposed by Leon Ladner, who was on the Board of Governors at the time in 1966. And it was actually a really controversial project because there was a lot of tension between, you know, the notion of this clock chiming every hour and showing the passage of time. And a lot of people felt that that was a really kind of draconian oversight of the university and they just wanted, you know, a little bit more freedom. So it took about a year and a half before it was finally approved and was completed in 1968. It okay. stands 121 feet high, and uh, yeah, it's kind of one of the most iconic images on campus. And there have been two Volkswagen Beetles put on top by the engineering students, right, over Allegedly the years? Allegedly by the engineering students, yes. Ah. Volkswagen Beetles, most uh -huh. recently in 2014. Um, and, uh, you know, part of their e-week pranks where Volkswagen bugs show up here, there, and everywhere. Even underneath the San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge, That's I hear. one of their most notable pranks. That's right. Um, so I've got it in my calendar for 2024 and 2034 uh -huh. as the anniversaries of those to make sure that we're ready to uh, 20, anything. 2024. Yeah. We have a little bit of time before that we happens. Do. We do. All right, I'm looking forward to it. We are going to the very top of... This is what the steps look like going up the, uh, the Ladner Tower, right? It's going to be pretty cool. I'm too <laughs> okay. Now we know. So how do you feel, Wendy? A little breathless. <laughs> well, this is a breathtaking view. Yes. That's pretty amazing. Actually, in the Ladner Clock Tower, inside the clock, you can actually see all the LED lights uh, here, and there's obviously a clock face on all four sides. And I'm going to ask these gentlemen. There was about a year where it was stuck at a certain time, and then you fixed it. Was, it, was that hard to do? Did one of you guys do that? Brian can explain that. Yeah, I guess in each one of these little setups, is like little tiny gearboxes um, that are all driven from the central gearbox. I see. So it was just stuck and it was not moving basically at the time. So yeah. It fell apart. Yeah. We uh, lubricated everything and then. So you actually are the person who fixed the clock. Well, thank you very much. People were very happy with that. What, what time was it stuck at? I forgot. I have no idea. It was 
Yeah. It was on and off. It would go. It would stop because I think it was the cold cute up there that oil was getting thick. Yeah. And, uh, it was working as like this one. Right. Right. Took care of all. Oh, the, the story out there is that you had to wait to have parts uh, delivered from Europe somewhere. But that's, that's, that's a myth, right? That's not true. That's not true. You actually are the one who fixed it. Well, thank you very much. No, we, well, initially, the reports, because the controller, the, uh, this, the, the old clock controller is like a really, really old system. Mm -hmm. And if we go down to the bunker, it might still be down there. Yeah. The initial kind of premise in terms of getting it going again was to try and repair the controller. Oh, I see. So that's where that story was. It wasn't an actual story. It was actually true. But, but oh, I see. Uh, manufacturer. So it was a Swiss clock. Uh-huh. Like a really old controller. Yeah. The individual installed it down in the States. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as that was no longer possible, then we started trying to repair Then you came to the rescue. What is that? That's going to be the old part that we had to replace. Is that right? We had trouble finding it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that used to drive the, the clock previously. Well, thanks for uh, fixing the clock. Much for the actual speakers that uh, um, belt out the carry line bell tunes every hour. And it's uh, after nine, so we're actually in between different uh, carry line bell songs. So we won't actually be deafened. Do you have O Canada? Classic. Uh, we do. These are all the different songs that you can play in the carry line. Over the rainbow.